This is going to be the water resistance test of this Galaxy device, Galaxy S25. As soon as the device was submerged underwater, you can see it, there are bubbles forming at the top of the device. This might be water getting inside the device, near the front speaker, and also the holes, the microphone holes on the top of the device. This is something that was done per design in order to have a little bit of water go in, but stay away from the circuitry of the device. As you can see right now, I'm testing the S25 Ultra, it is underwater using the S Pen to navigate the device, take pictures, remove notifications and all that. So the S25 Ultra is also IP68, the same rating that you have on this Galaxy S25. The device has been submerged for more than 8 minutes, the screen is still on at the ambient brightness and the chronometer is still going. Ok, similar to my other water resistance test, I need to move the device underwater in order to mimic what is going to happen in reality. If you go to the pool and try to take pictures, it is not going to stay in one place. The device has to move around. Also if you go to the beach and you want to take beautiful picture with the sand and the water and also pictures under the beach water you will need to move your device. So this is why I'm moving the device under water at some times in order to make sure that the device is in the same type of condition moving around the device is what makes it. So currently we are above 20 minutes and the device is still alive working the screen is still on i saw a bunch of bubbles at the top of the device and also at the bottom near the loudspeaker the loudspeaker also is kind of designed to take some water in but stop the water from going beyond the loudspeaker so indeed protecting the circuitry board inside this Galaxy S25. Currently the device has been submerged for 32 minutes and I need to remove the device now in order to assess the device to make sure that everything is functioning. The screen, the touch screen response. So next I'm going to show you how to get rid of all the water that has been accumulated on the inside of this device, especially the top of the device on the microphones and also at the bottom of the device around the loudspeaker. So even with a little bit of water, the fingerprint sensor is still going to work as long as the device is not fully submerged. The camera is very good, it is still in focus, I see everything clearly. So next I'm just going to remove all the excess water that are present on the surface of the body of this Galaxy S25 and then I'm going to show you how to expel all the water that is inside. Just grab the device this way with the loudspeaker on the opposite side and shake the device. Make sure that you firmly grip on the device so that it doesn't fly and break itself. So this is the way to push all the water that are at the bottom of the device including the water that is inside the loudspeaker. If you shake the device this way, all the water or most of the water, 90% is going to get out. You can see after each round, a small trace of water around the loudspeaker and the charging module. When you do not see any water or it is like this, very minimal water around those areas, you have expelled most of the water and you just have to wait for the other small water to evaporate. You should do the same thing for the top of the device.